Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma. So guys, y'all were way too kind to me on this whole brisket thing. Y'all were saying, just put it in a pan with some salt and pepper, eat it up. Some of you guys said put it with some green beans. That would be easy and delicious. Everything that y'all said, delicious and easy. And yes, you're right. I could have just sat in a corner and just oinked on it. I did secretly eat a few bites with the wonderful juice and flavors of that yummy brisket. However, I still needed to make something with it. So, okay, I'm gonna do it easy, guys. Really, really easy. All right, guys, so here's what we are doing with some of that brisket. We are making some nachos. Let me show what I'm using. This is a microwave safe dish that I purchased at Aldi's. You will see it in the upcoming haul. Here it is. I'm go ahead and get set up to build nachos, all right? Gonna be easy peasy, guys. Speaking of Aldi's, guys, here are my Aldi's pork rinds I'll be using. We're gonna place a few of the pork rinds here. This bag is seven servings, so that's probably about two and a half servings. I measure out three and a half ounces, one ounce of this cotija cheese, and the rest is ch Mexican cheese. Just gonna spread it all over the place here. Then I'm gonna add four ounces of my brisket. I just kind of chopped it up, guys. I mean, that even is all that I cut. I'll add some more of the cheese. Okay, these are gonna go to the microwave for about a minute and a half. Now, guys, we are using what we've got here. Dogs are gonna get a little treat on that. Make that onion off. Onions are not good for pups. Uh, you may or may not see my haul yet for Aldi's. I, I don't know. I'm not sure where it is in the queue. I kind of got behind on things, guys. Um, you know, addressing my mom and something that's coming up, guys. I have a secret. I am keeping a secret from you guys. It's a very exciting one. Sharing it with you soon. Guys, okay, so check it out. This is the avocado from my haul on Monday. Monday. Look how good that looks, guys. Still perfect condition. And once again, be using my smoked pecan sea salt. All right, I'm going to go ahead and score the avocados. Ooh, guys, check that out. Doesn't that look good? All right, from here, I have just under one full ounce of red onions. Now, if I had some fresh tomatoes, I would use it. I'm totally out of fresh tomatoes, guys. Okay, I'm taking some jalapenos that I had in my pantry. All right, guys, these are the signature sliced jalapenos from Randall's. Then I had um, a couple of pieces of lettuce for my romaine hearts. Aren't big enough to do a hamburger with. So just grab some of that, sprinkle it on. Then guys, put on your sour cream. I'm just gonna put a little bit now, just for looks. Just a little bit. And guys, put out your avocado in a little corner here. And guys, there you go. That's how I used four and a half ounces of my brisket. All right, nachos. There you go. I'll be eating them. All right, have a blessed day. Well, I'll be sharing them with David. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's so neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> tea.